Ohio National Guard troops are training this weekend right here at Riverside Methodist Hospital. They are taking advantage of equipment the hospital has to help emergency room doctors better prepare for trauma cases. Mike Bowersock was there today as guard medics were put to a simulated test. How's his airway? How's he doing? It is as real as it gets without the gunshots and bombs. Hold his head stable. Got it. These are Ohio National Guard medics training on simulators, high-tech, high-priced mannequins at Riverside Methodist Hospital. Nothing beats doing it for real, but uh, as far as this is as close as it gets. In civilian life, these medics are a nurse, a truck salesman, a Walmart employee, and a pharmacy technician. In the guard, some of them have tried to save the dying in Iraq. Um, actually, I've seen a couple of people shot through the neck. Um, basically, they were dead on arrival when they had showed up. I mean, a lot of them, uh, some Iraqis, some soldiers. Yeah, we need to do this all the time. Uh, people get relaxed in their skills if they don't do this in their normal civilian job. They try everything to make it real. Scott Winfield plays the part of the wounded soldier shot in the neck. He manipulates the mannequin during the triage. We try to make the uh, actual uh, vital signs and the actual interaction with the simulator as real as possible. And when it was all done, the team had saved a life, even though it was a high-tech, high-priced piece of machinery. On this patient, excellent, stellar. Um, when something didn't go right, they knew what to do to make it work. In Columbus, I'm Mike Bowersock, NBC4. Today, there were nine National Guards men and women training, but Riverside has trained at least 70 recently using their method.